Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. Most of you doesn't have the software in your hand right now. I will explain how you can able to get the software to your uh, your computer, how you can able to access it. So I'm going to explain in detail about that, how to get the SaaS software in it. So then we can proceed further. Okay, so now what we do is, first we'll log into our SaaS website to get an access to the SaaS software. For this, what we do is, let me just log into Google. Okay, so then followed by, you just search for SAS ODA login. Then go to the first page itself. That is a SAS ODA means on demand for academics. You just click on it. Then sign in. So here is the question that you don't have an access uh, to the uh, this particular page. You don't have any profile yet. So what you can do is you just go to don't have a SAS profile. Just click on that. Then it will ask you to create an account. So for this, you just enter your preferred details like English and then your first name and last name and your email ID and your country or region and affiliation with student, affiliation with SAS, you try to keep that as a student, then followed by the organization or university. You try keep your last organization name, whatever it is, you try taking that one and then, yes, I would like to create, a, a, it's just to occasionally send some updates to you. If you want it, you can tick mark it. Otherwise, you just leave it use this option of I agree and all and click on create a profile. Once this profile is been created to you on your uh, computer, so there will be a mail triggered to you in a 10 to 15 minutes of time. It will take some time. So once that particular 15 minutes of time, the SaaS software will be uh, ready in the back end. So they'll just uh, cre create an account in the online. So once that is ready, so you will get uh, all the details, your, your username and password. So to your, what I can say that email, once you receive it, uh, again, you come back and go to this particular page of here. So sasoda.com. Uh, so, so that is your welcome.oda.sas.com generally is the page. So you click on sign in. So then it will ask you to enter your details. As I'm entering my details here, then I'll use this option called I accept. So uh, terms and conditions of this one and click on sign in. Once you sign in, so you can see, so all the things are signed in now. So I'll just go to my web page, click on launch. So then it will allow me to just launch in my SaaS studio for me. So here, okay, so you can see here, so we have a windows like code window, log window, result window, and as well as libraries is separate window, we will have it. So general SaaS software to this particular SaaS studio, the difference is here you won't uh, see uh, uh, output window. Instead of output, result window. Here result window, output window is same. Generally when I'm explaining my classes so there, uh, I'll just use this particular uh, software. You can just see this one. So there I'll have it. Uh, so you can just, uh, let me just do it in a comparator manner so that you can get it an idea. What is the difference between this software and that one? So you just see here, we have an editor window. So instead of editor, what you will have it here is code window. So here we used to have a window called log window here. So here also you will have the log window. So it's the same. So here I have a result, but uh, you just see, I have output window in place of that. So that's the only difference. And when I come into the explorer window, mainly libraries is the place where you can see even the libraries also you can see in your libraries location in your SAS studio. So you can see that. So that's the only difference. Here, generally we have an output window and results window as separate, separate. But in SAS studio, you won't have the two. It's combined together at one, one particular page itself that is just result window only. Imagine if I'm writing any program here, but just testing, you don't know anything about the programming. For testing purpose, I'm writing it as a proc, means it's a procedure. Print means I'm printing it, uh, data equal to your data set name. So that is my SAS help library 
with the name of class data set is there here, which is already there. You just go to your library's location. So then you just go for your SAS help. So there is a data set here called a help, a, a class data set. You just to see class class. Yes, class data set is here generally. So I want to print this particular data set by using this program and run it. So now you execute it. What happens? You know, I can select it here. Also, I'm using a running boy symbol to submit your program. I'm just clicking on it. So I can get the output what I want it. The same thing I can do in SAS also. What you can do is just go with here and the code what I have written here. I'll copy from there. I'll just come to my SAS general editor. I'll just paste it here also. So once you click on it, so here also I can run the program by selecting this piece of code and there I can use a running boy symbol so that I can able to get the same output here also. So the software what I'm using either SAS Studio or the original version, all the command statements, whatever I'm writing it will be the same for your SAS Studio and as well as your interactive SAS version. So anything it's fine. There is no much differences there. So you don't need to worry about it. So what you have to do is once you log in into it and then all those stuff, you can easily use it so that for your purpose. So I think you, you got this particular SaaS software and whatever I'm explaining here, you just see, I, I want to just watch a video and as well as the SaaS software is side by side. You go here and clicking on it. So here is an option in Windows, uh, uh, what I can say, uh, say uh, Windows 11. So you just put this into one side. You, you see right now, I'm putting two software side by side, but in case, uh, in your case, one side, your YouTube video of mine, another side of your SaaS software for a practice so that whatever I'm explaining here, you take a pause of this one and you try recreating it here. So this software will work throughout your life. So there is no expiration, nothing. So once they're given access to you, it's a student version, it's a free, you don't need to pay for it uh, so that you can use and you can do all the classes of mine, whatever I'm explaining. In the classes, everything you can come back and enter it here. And yes, it definitely works. So do a practice with me. And if you are really interested like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you think that this particular video is useful for your career and as well as for your learning. So definitely need uh, uh, for, for, uh, for me, I need at least one like. So just click on like and subscribe. And that's it. I think pretty much with it. I'll meet you in the next video. I hope. This particular video is helpful and you have successfully get the SaaS software for your access and so that you can able to do a practice on it and all so that let me start my next videos one by one. Thank you for watching in this particular video. I'll meet you in my next video. Thank you.